Good evening and welcome to Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School in the City of Champions for this BCA Sports presentation of Brockton Lady Boxers Basketball. Tonight the Lady Boxers welcome in the Dartmouth Lady Indians for a varsity matchup in which will be the final regular season home game for the Lady Boxers this season. And as a matter of fact, since they are out of qualifications for the MIAA postseason, this will be their last home game this season. My name is Peter Zimbo. I will have the solo call of tonight's game. This is a rematch between the Boxers and the Indians of a game played a few weeks ago on February the 8th in Dartmouth where the Boxers took the Dartmouth Indians into overtime and the Indians ultimately prevailed. Starting five for the Lady Boxers tonight, number 11, Chanel Melton, number 21, Dominique Coley, number 23, Chantel Jordan, number 33, Christian McDuffie, and number 22, Jennifer Caruso. Starting five for the Dartmouth Indians as tip-off is set to begin. Number four, Lauren Pires. Number 10, Nicole Simmons. Number 15, Allie Ponce. Number 22, Tarian Silva. And number 32, Francis Pontes. The Dartmouth Indians are without two of their regular starters tonight, Catherine Hiller and Morgan Gidley. Dartmouth has qualified for the MIAA playoffs, so tonight's game really doesn't have any ramifications for either team. They're sort of playing the schedule out, Dartmouth, trying to stay sharp as they head into the playoffs. And Brockton, a very, very young team with freshmen in the starting five tonight, looking to sharpen their skills and build towards the future. Boxers coached by head coach April Dingwell, head coach for the Dartmouth Lady Indians, Jeff Hoyle. We're expecting a more competitive game between the Lady Boxers and the Dartmouth Lady Indians tonight than we did when we saw the men's basketball team here at Brockton High take on Dartmouth earlier this season. We're Brockton at one point led by a score of 33 to one and it appears we're gonna have a backcourt violation called against Brockton. Brockton with a record of three wins and one loss. Last week they defeated Whittier Vocational Technical High School of Haverhill in what was a excellent performance by the Lady Boxers and a pretty big upset. We're still schoolers here at Staff Gymnasium. Chantel Jordan with the ball for Brockton. Goes to the hole, no good. Rebounded by Dartmouth. That's number 11 coming down with it. Excuse me, number 10, Simmons. And down low for Dartmouth, that is number four, Lauren Pires, drawing first blood. Dartmouth leads two to nothing with six minutes and 28 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. A unique night here at Staff Gymnasium. You may see on your cameras at some point some students and some faculty in just Brockton High School sports fans wearing light blue t-shirts. Those are light blue t-shirts and also bracelets they have that are being sold here tonight to help raise funds for Linda Kang, who is a member of the Brockton High School varsity soccer team, just a sophomore. We've seen her plenty of times on these BCA airwaves. Recently was diagnosed with leukemia. And they are selling those shirts and bracelets tonight, raising funds for her and her family as they go through this difficult time as they'll have plenty of medical expenses and whatnot to pay for, and we certainly wish Linda King the best and a full recovery. Seen plenty of Linda King doing, doing soccer games here on BCA. Chanel Melton heads to the hole for Brockton, draws a foul, goes to the line. She'll be shooting two. Has an opportunity for Brockton to tie the game now. And as we're talking about Linda Kang Knight here at Staff Gymnasium, 
Earlier tonight, prior to the game starting, a very heartfelt and emotional speech on the PA system here, given by Brockton Lady Boxers starter freshman Jennifer Caruso. Letting the crowd know what tonight was all about, she referred to Linda Kang as a bright young personality who brightens everyone's day. And 2 1, your score right now, Dartmouth on top as. Melton went one for two at the free throw line, and Dartmouth will score again, making it 4-1 with just over five minutes to go in the first quarter. Not only did Jennifer Crusoe give a pregame speech tonight to the crowd as Aaliyah Brito hits a layup, getting Brockton within one, four to three with 4.50 remaining in the first quarter. But earlier tonight, Dominique Coley getting some time on the PA microphone as she sang the national anthem. And Dominique Coley did a fantastic job singing the national anthem tonight. 14 seconds on that clock. Last night at the men's game, they had a pre-recorded rendition of the national anthem playing over the PA system. That was actually Whitney Houston's version of the national anthem done originally at the Super Bowl in the early 90s when the New York Giants defeated the Buffalo Bills in the infamous game where Scott Norwood missed a field goal with final seconds left of the game, which led to New York winning as Aaliyah Brito hits a layup down low, giving Brockton their first lead of the game 5-4, 4-18 left to go. But that was very fitting last night given the fact that Whitney Houston left the world certainly too soon this weekend, found dead in a hotel room in Beverly Hills the night before the Grammy. Chantel Jordan right now with the ball for Brockton goes to the hole and she is going to draw a foul as she is hacked by number four Lauren Pires and we're going to see Brockton at the free throw line looking to extend upon their lead. 401 left to go in the opening quarter. Two team fouls called against Dartmouth here in the first half of the first quarter of this game. Five to four you score Brockton on top and it's Chantel Jordan who will be shooting two. Misses her first to two off the rim, no good. And Jordan able to make her second of two, so 6-4, Brockton leads by two. Under four minutes to go now in the first quarter. Tonight's broadcast, a joint presentation of Brockton Community Access Television and the TV Production Club of Brockton High School. So many of the sights and sounds you see coming from your TV set right now, actually the results of hard work put in by high school students at Brockton High. As we have a foul called against Dartmouth's number 15, Allie Ponce. That's her second foul of the game. Chanel Melton will inbound the basketball for Brockton, gets it into McDuffie. This way, this way to Caruso. Short shot by Melton, connects, Brockton leads 8-4. Towards the tail end of this season, you're seeing some glimmers of hope for Brockton for the future as this young team starting to come into their own and you only see positive things coming forward. That win last week against Whittier was a big step in the right direction and Brockton really not faced playing up against the playing against a playoff caliber team tonight, given the 3-11 record. Francis. Foul called against Brockton, Chantel Jordan. This will be taken out down low by Dartmouth. Hey, but if you're head coach April Dingwell, you have to like the things you're seeing from your squad in the latter part of this season, despite their subpar record. 8-4, your score Brockton on top. Three minutes and 12 seconds remaining in the opening quarter.
Chanel Melton makes it 10 for Brockton. Head coach for Dartmouth, Jeff Hoyle, does not like what he sees as Brockton is a six-point edge with two minutes and 49 seconds left to go in the first quarter. So with your score, Brockton 10, Dartmouth 4, we have our first timeout called here at Staff Gymnasium. Once again, the Lady Box is coached by April Dingwell and her assistants David Ray and Stephanie Savitz. The Dartmouth Indians, coached by Jeff Hoyle, his assistants Scott Richards, Shane Fennessy, Brian Jalbert, and Trish Gardner. Dharma's the one that called the timeout, but they're back on the floor prior to Brockton. That's Chantel Jordan taking to the hole. 12-4. Brockton on top. Sharon Springsteed checking into the game momentarily for the Lady Boxers. Brockton looking good. Foul called against Chanel Melton for Brockton. Not only the Springsteed check in, but Christian McDuffie does as well. Jennifer Caruso and Aaliyah Brito taking a breather. Both Brito and Caruso freshmen on this varsity squad. You got her. You got her out. Red! Come on, let's go! We're going! Hey, hey. McDuffie steps in the perimeter, short jumper, no good. Coley comes down with the rebound for Brockton, out to Sharon Springsteed. Inside the perimeter, in and out. And we have a whistle called down low. Was there a foul? And there was against Chantel Jordan for the Lady Boxers. Three fouls against Dartmouth in this first half so far, two against Brockton. A minute 10 left to go in the first quarter. Brockton with the lead 14 to 6. Chantel Jordan takes a breather as Jennifer Caruso checks back in. Jennifer Crusoe's father, Peter Crusoe, formerly an assistant coach for the Boxers varsity football team, and at one point was also the head coach for the freshman team. Sixteen six, Brockton now up by ten. Couldn't have asked for a better quarter from Brockton if your head coach April Dingwell right now.
So the first quarter comes to a conclusion, and Brockton has a 10-point edge. 16 to 6 is your score. Brockton is on top. Once again, you're watching BCA Sports. Peter Zimbor here calling the action solo on a Wednesday night at Staff Gymnasium. Final regular season home game for the Lady Boxers this season. They'll finish out the schedule taking on Sandwich. this Friday night and over the weekend they will partake in a tournament on the campus of Bridgewater State University. Still getting used to saying Bridgewater State University. I still call it Bridgewater State College but I digress. Twelve point edge for Brockton now. Chanel Melton inside the perimeter. Four high. Colby, get over that one. Oh, it's just on the sideline. Never mind. Let's go. Let's go. Six forty-nine left to go here in the first half. Dartmouth working the ball around the perimeter. Dartmouth has not scored here in the second quarter just yet. Rocking with the rebound. It's McDuffie up to Sharon Springsteed. Springsteed is going to drive foul from number twenty-one for Dartmouth. Colby Brooks, and unfortunately for Colby Brooks, she probably got the brunt of that, even though she gets called for the foul. 18-6 is your score, Brockton on top. 6.36 left to go in the half. Jennifer Crusoe accepts the inbound at the top of the key. Over to McDuffie, steps in, shoots. No good. And that's going to go out of bounds off Sharon Springsteen. Foul called against Dominique Coley for Brockton. This is going to send Nicole Simmons, the sophomore guard, to the free throw line for Dartmouth. Looking to get her team their first points of the second quarter with 6.10 left to go in the half.
Brockton just pouring it on. 20 to 6, your score, 557 left to go in the half. And I don't think this is the score that anyone would have thought coming in. Still relatively early in the second quarter. Brockton dominating. Springsteed with the ball for Brockton. Almost loses it into the hands of McDuffie. Shoots, no good. Rebounded by the Indians. But McDuffie with the steal. Tries to get it over to Melton. Goes out of bounds off Dartmouth. Brockton ball. Dartmouth Athletics traditionally pretty good. Dartmouth's football team gave Brockton some great games on the gridiron of the football field in the mid-2000s. This girls basketball team, despite their performance tonight, is playoff bound. All of their loss this season have come to fairly good opposition. And that is a three-pointer by Sharon Springsteed. 23 to six, Brockton on top. 5-14 to go in the half. Melton with the steal. Tries to lay it up, no good. Ball goes out of bounds off Dartmouth, Brockton ball. Short jumper by McDuffie. In the second quarter, Brockton's out to a 9-0 run. And dating back into the first quarter, it's significantly more. 4.52 left to go in the opening half. Springsteed to McDuffie. McDuffie inside, no good. Ball out of bounds off Dartmouth, Brockton ball. Traveling called on Dartmouth. Turns the ball over to Brockton. That was interesting. The ball was going out of bounds. Number 32 for Dartmouth. Francis Ponce touched the ball before it was fully out of bounds and stepped out. So it's Brockton ball. Spring seed for three. No good. Rebounded by McDuffie. Puts it up. Good. Draws the foul. Count the bucket and one. 27 to 8, Brockton on top. 333 left to go in the half. Holy mackerel. Head coach for Dartmouth, Jeff Hoyle, frustrated, is going to call a timeout. As head coach April Dingwell offering fist bounds and high fives to all who will accept in her huddle, as she's very proud of the way her ladies have played tonight.
Jeff Hoyle talking to his teammates right now. I'm overhearing everything he's saying. And he's more or less saying that you guys are making so many mental errors tonight, your head is just not in the game. He's telling his teammate, you, his team, that you are better players than what you're exhibiting here tonight. These fighters girls up. That was a win-win for the Gipper, like motivational speech from Jeff Hoyle. Three-point attempt by Dartmouth, no good. McDuff with the rebound, nice steal by Dartmouth, number 10, Nicole Simmons. Nice back and forth passing by Dartmouth, they connect down low, 28-10, Brockton up by 18. But you are seeing more fire out of this Indian squad. McDuffie with the ball, gets it over to Springsteed. Springsteed in the hole, off the glass, and in, count the bucket, and one, she is going to be fouled. No, she is not. They are going to call a charge on Brockton. Do not count the basket. Dartmouth ball. Whistle down low, and I think that we're going to see number 24 for Brockton foul Diana Abraham, the lone senior on this Lady Boxers varsity team at this juncture. 28 to 10 is your score. Brockton with the lead. Two minutes and 36 seconds left to go here in the first half. So foul called against Brockton and Dartmouth's number 34, Megan Shirtliff, will be at the line. Melted down low for Brockton. Brockton leads by 20. 30 to 10 is your score. Less than two minutes to go in the first half. Seven fouls called on each team. Both teams in the bonus. Any fouls from here on out, we'll see shooting regardless. 
And that is out of bounds off Brockton as number 32. Pontes for Dartmouth intentionally puts it off the legs of Brockton Chanel Melton. And so Dartmouth can inbound from down low. And that is number 32, Francis Pontes, putting in for two. Traveling called against Brockton, turns the ball over to the Dartmouth Indians. Buck 41 on the clock here in the first half. Pontes down low again, no good. McDuffie with the rebound from the Lady Boxers. Over to Springsteed. Springsteed to McDuffie. Jumper by Sharon Springsteed gives Brockton the lead 33 to 12. That was good from outside. Springsteed smiling. She's having a good game tonight. Pontes down low, no good. Dartmouth with the rebound, however, that's Avila. Loses it. Very aggressive play by the Brockton Lady Boxers. Come on, let's go, let's get it scoring. Go. I need someone on that side. One on that side. One, get in the staff. Who's five for Brockton? Good cuts, good cuts. What's her first name? Good, get in and scream. Forty seconds to go in the first half. McDuffie with the ball to Chanel Melton, football style. Brady to Moss, Montana to Rice. Melton puts it in for two, draws a foul. She'll go to the line. Thirty-six to twelve. Twenty-four point lead for Brockton. Brockton on pace to score seventy plus in this game. Just as they did last week. What has gotten in this Lady Boxers team? They have found their rhythm. Montron. Sure jumper, no good. Rebounded by Dartmouth. Less than six seconds to go now in the half and too soon Dartmouth's just going to launch the ball up. They get the rebound however and number 34 for Dartmouth Shirtliff able to put it in for two. So the first half comes to a conclusion and Brockton leads by 22. Your score at the half Brockton 36, Dartmouth 14. We'll step aside for a quick break. Second half action after this. Lou. I'm here. Yep. Kids are on the ball. They're fucking sitting right there. I'll go tell them. She wasn't paying attention. She was dancing. Yep. And we return to Staff Gymnasium for second half action. Brockton with a commanding lead over Dartmouth to begin the second half. Brockton held Dartmouth to single digit points in each of the first two quarters respectively and lead 36 to 14. 
as we enter the second half. My name is Peter Zimbo calling the action solo. 7.38 left to go in the third quarter. Dartmouth with the basketball as they are moving the ball around and into the perimeter. Missed their first scoring opportunity of the second half. Rebounded by Chanel Melton for Brockton. Over to Christian McDuffie to Chantel Jordan. Jordan launches it up, no good, rebounded by Dartmouth. And we're going to have a travel called on Dartmouth down low on Lauren Pyra as clear as day, which is unfortunate for her as she had a clean look at the basket, no defender in front of her. Two-pointer as Chantel Jones' foot was on the line, but that ups Brockton's lead to 38-14 to with 6.43 now left to go in the third quarter. Chanel Melton with a clean road to the basket. 40 to 14, Brockton on top now. 5.53 to go in the third quarter. Jen Caruso comes up with the ball for Brockton. Ooh, she slid a little. They probably could have called travel on her. She goes to lay it up, no good, draws a foul. She'll go to the line to shoot two. All's well that ends well for Jen Caruso. She's heading to the free throw line. <laughs> Missed her first or two at the line. Aliyah Brito checking into the game as Dominique Coley takes a breather. Aliyah Brito down low, 42-14 Brockton. We're reaching the midway point of the third quarter. Dartmouth has still not scored here in the second half. This is a far cry from the tightly contested game these teams had a few weeks ago that went into overtime. And you have to wonder how much Katherine Hiller and Morgan Gidley's absence from this Dartmouth team has had an effect on them here tonight against Brockton as their two starters who were out with injuries. First bucket of the second half for Dartmouth. That comes courtesy of number 21, Colby Brooks.
Dartmouth for three, no good. They get the rebound, however. 3.25 on the clock here in the third quarter. And pass attempted by Dartmouth goes out of bounds. Brockton ball, Sharon Springsteed checks back into the game for Brockton. Jen Caruso takes a breather. And a Dartmouth player is gonna take a pretty nasty spill and she lands on her right wrist it appears and the officials are going to immediately blow the whistle and allow for a replacement to come in as she took a rather hard fall. It's number 21, Colby Brooks. Hopefully she is okay. Forty-four, seventeen, Brockton. Two forty-three left to go in the third quarter. Jordan down low, no good, and we have a whistle, and it's a foul called against Brockton. It will be Dartmouth ball. Jen Caruso back in the game for Brockton. Chantel Jordan all smiles as she heads to the sidelines. Sharon Springseed with three fouls, and head coach Abril Dingwell. Let Chantel Joy know that saying, you could be going back in this game rather quickly, so don't get too comfortable if Sharon Springseed finds herself in even more foul trouble. McDuffie down low for Brockton, 47, 46 to 17. Melton takes it to the hole 48 to 17. 31 point lead for Brockton. Minute 33 left to go. Maggie Vieira down low for Dartmouth makes it 48 19. Brockton so far has held Dartmouth to just five points in the second half.
Chantel Jordan, short jumper, no good. Rebounded by Melton. Melton loses it into the hands of a Dartmouth player. That's Nicole Simmons. Lays it up and in. 15 seconds to go in the third quarter. And we're going to have a foul called against Dartmouth with 6.7 seconds to go in the quarter. That's going to be on number 22, Darian Silva. And Brockman will inbound from the sideline. Chanel Melton will put it into play for the Lady Boxers. Ben Caruso with a jumper, no good. Third quarter ends. Brockton still with a commanding lead, 48 to 23. And for the third consecutive quarter of this game, Brockton has held Dartmouth to single digit points as just nine points scored by Dartmouth in the third quarter. And most of those points coming towards the latter half of the third quarter. So Brockton not in any trouble whatsoever as they have just eight minutes of basketball left to be played. 25 point lead for Brockton. It's gonna be a rather nice way for the Lady Boxers to cap off this season as far as home games are concerned at Staff Gymnasium with a convincing win over a playoff bound team like the Dartmouth Indians. Dominique Coley down low, first bucket of the fourth quarter for Brockton. Brockton breaks 50 points. Head coach Jeff Hoyle for Dartmouth calls a timeout just 13 seconds into the fourth quarter as his team trails 50 to 23. Dartmouth has got a lot of work to do as they head into the MIAA playoffs. They're already qualified for the playoffs, but they're going to fall to 9-8 and eight tonight, it appears. And that would give them just a slightly over 500 record. Russo with the short jumper, 52-23 Brockton.
Nicole Simmons with the ball for Dartmouth. Gets it over to teammate Silva. Ball out of bounds, it'll be Dartmouth ball. 5.28 left to go in the game. 52-24, your score, Brockton with the lead. Once again, Peter Zimbor here calling the action solo. Brockton Community Access Sports. Tonight's game, a joint presentation between Brockton Community Access and the TV Production Club of Brockton High School doing a fine job bringing you the sights and sounds you see coming out of your television set. And we also want to remind viewers who may not have been watching in the first quarter, tonight's game dedicated to Linda Kang, a member of the varsity soccer team here at Brockton High School, recently diagnosed with leukemia, as you have a nice defensive play by Christian McDuffie. Tonight, a lot of her friends selling blue t-shirts and blue bracelets. raising funds for Linda and her family, and we certainly wish Linda King the very best as she goes through this difficult ordeal, and we certainly wish her the best in recovering. 52 to 24, Brockton on top, 434 left to go in the game. McDuffie down low. Jumper by Chantel Jordan, good. 30 point lead for Brockton, 56-26. And Sharon Springsteed with her fifth personal foul will foul out of the game, but she's played very well tonight. And in her place, Narita Montron, the freshman, will check into the game. Narita Montron recently called up from the freshman team to the varsity team. 
and making a good of account a good account of herself since doing so. 56-28 Brockton on top, 28 point deficit for the Dartmouth Indians. Who would have thought that going into tonight's game? Certainly not I. Sixty-one, thirty-one. Brockton with the lead. Two eleven to go in the game. And we're going to see Diana Abraham check into the game momentarily for Brockton. And this will be the final time Diana Abraham takes the floor at home as a member of this girls varsity basketball program as she is the lone senior on this team. Brockton get the job done at the free throw line. 62-31 your score and Brockton in the bonus, so they'll get one more. Number four for Brockton at the line. Not on our roster, she was recently called up as well from JV. 62 to 31, Brockton with the lead. A minute 48 left to go in the game. Dartmouth's gonna tr go to the hole and we're gonna have a foul called against Brockton. Dartmouth will head to the line. If you're Brockton at this point, you can almost give up playing defense. It won't matter. You have a 31 point lead with a minute 45 to go. You're walking out of here with a W. Less than a minute to go. Monshawn with the basketball for Brockton. Tries to get it up to Abraham, ball goes out of bounds.
Less than 10 seconds to go. Diana Abraham with the ball for Brockton. Off the glass and in. And what a fitting way for the senior Diana Abraham to finish off her final home game as a member of this Brockton Boxers varsity basketball program with the final bucket of the game. Brockton with a dominating win, 64 to 34, your final score. Brockton in complete control from the get-go. And what a way for Brockton to finish off the season here at home. Your final score from Staff Gymnasium. The Brockton Lady Boxers improved their record to four wins and 11 losses as they convincingly defeat the playoff-bound Dartmouth Indians by a score of 64 to 34. For everyone here at BCA, my name is Peter Zimbor. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.